G'day, and welcome to Invention. You might remember last week when we showed you how to make one of the most versatile training tools you'll ever need, Cavaletti. Today, we're going to show you three easy exercises that'll put your Cavaletti to good use. All right, guys, let's get straight to it with exercise number one. This is Shremo Slippery Sherpentine. It's about as easy as you can get. Three Cavaletti on about the center line of whatever your ring is. For the one we've set up, it's there about 20 meters apart from center of Cavaletti to center of Cavaletti. And it's very, very simple. You just come through at the canter, and really we're practicing changing lead over each of the Cavaletti. Let's see it in action. So this is a great exercise for young horses just to practice having a smooth rhythm and then getting nice smooth turns and changing the lead correctly. Easy as pie. All right guys, so exercise number two, we like to call Jimbo's Gymnastic Jamboree. Basically it comprises of two sets of bounces with a Cavaletti one, two, or three strides away from the bounce. You start by going over the single Cavaletti. In this case, we've done two strides to a little bounce, which is nine or 10 feet apart. You wheel around and then come back the opposite direction on the second part, which is the bounce two strides out. Let's take a look at this in action. So the idea of this exercise is to get the horse jumping and being careful, thinking about its feet, and also starting to introduce the idea of having turns to combinations, which we'll be getting into when they start jumping courses. But before we get on to our next exercise, let's head to a Shramo shout out. Today's Shremo shout out goes to Bright Futures Farm Horse Rescue located in Cochranton, PA. For over 13 years, these guys' mission has been to rescue horses from abuse, abandonment and slaughter. Once rescued, they provide medical care, schooling and rehabilitation and then go on to adopt many of these horses into loving forever homes. Check out these guys here, they've got to do great work. Back to the action. Welcome back guys to exercise number three. We like to call this one Absolute Mayhem. Absolute mayhem. Just kidding, it's not that hard. Basically, we make these three sort of triangular shapes at each end of the ring. The distance from the straight one curving is around about two strides, but we try not to measure this too accurately. We kind of want to adapt to it as it is. And then we do about four or five strides on a curving line back to another two stride. The purpose of this exercise is to start challenging the horses in a way that's a little bit more realistic. It's a little bit more like show jump courses. And really here, curving lines and getting the correct lead without the horse drifting is important. So without further ado, let's see it in action. All right guys, so you can change that exercise up to the fit the dimensions of the ring that you're using. And as you do it, you'll realize there's lots of different patterns and shapes you can do to make it more interesting. All right, let's head to an invention tip of the day. All right guys, so today my tip of the day 
is adjusting your gymnastic distances. When we're using Cavaletti and doing gymnastics, we're trying to get the horse balanced with a nice fluffy canter. Now because the jumps aren't particularly big, and because we're trying to create that feeling, we generally make the distances a little bit shorter than we would if we were setting show jumps. For example, if I was to walk sort of universal six feet for landing, you could see that coming in over this jump, that's really a long way away from the Cavaletti. So instead of allowing six feet, I really only allow three, four, three feet, which is about one step, okay? So now I begin walking my strides. One, two, three, one stride, one, two, three, two strides. And you can see if I just take one step, that's enough for my takeoff coming into this little bounce. It's just another little tip to make sure you can get the most out of your gymnastic exercises. All right, guys, hopefully you got some good ideas on how to use your Cavaletti for your next jump score. Until next time, see ya.